Amplitude. I think amplitude is kind of one of those uh, great terms, um, especially for you musicians. I, uh, I was a musician, played played trombone in the band. Little fun little fact for you as I make the video. But I remember that, you know, kind of the amplitude. Um, you know, we talked about, you hear about that in music and you hear that a lot about the sound and you, you know, you kind of wonder, uh, you know, how does that go into affect the cosine? Or first of all, you know, how is music related to math? And then we were like, oh my God, there's, that's where the a lot of that information you know, and stuff came from. So what exactly is the amplitude? The amplitude is the half distance between the minimum and maximum values of your graph or of your output functions or output values. So let's go and take a look here at first of all our graphs and then how do we determine what our amplitude is when dealing with the function. So we're just going to talk about the sine and cosine graphs and let me, you know, we'll just sketch here. Uh, let's do X here. Let's go and graph the sine and the cosine function, and we can go and determine what the amplitude is going to be. So the sine function, just to graph one initial period of the sine and cosine, well, we know from graphing, learning how to graph the sine and cosine, that the graphs go up to 1 and go down to 1. So therefore, if we're going to look at the half distance, okay, if we're going to look at the half distance, well, that means the maximum distance is from here all the way down to here. So half of that distance is going to occur at the x enter x axis, which you can say the amplitude is going to be 1. And that's the same thing for our max distance of our cosine graph. You can see that the maximum value is 1. The minimum value is negative 1. So therefore, that half distance is again going to be 1. So where, how do we always know what our amplitude is going to be? Or how can we determine that for different functions? So let's go and take a look at our standard form of the sine graph, which we have y equals a times sine of bx minus c plus d, and then we have y equals a times cosine of bx minus c plus d. Maybe I'll rewrite that a little bit so I can fit that in there. Okay. So when looking at our coat, when looking at the amplitude, what we're going to determine the amplitude is going to be the absolute value of our a function or of our our a, and a is going to be your coefficient of your function or what is going to be multiplied by your function. So remember, it's going to be the absolute value of a. So if I give you a function like y equals one fourth sine of x, that means our amplitude is. 1 fourth. If I say y equals negative 8 cosine of x, the absolute value of negative 8 is going to produce 8. So therefore, the amplitude of this function, it would be 8. So when looking at your sine and cosine graph, when looking at our parent function, remember it's the half distance from the maximum point, which I guess it makes sense that this went up to the maximum, of our maximum point to our minimum point. So for the parent graph, our amplitude is 1. As you can notice, that the coefficient of both these functions is 1. And to make sure that you understand that that's the absolute value. Because there will be times that we're going to have a negative. And what that negative is going to do is, we'll talk about that later, it's going to be a reflector graph. But it's not going to change the distance between the maximum and the minimum of the graph. So the amplitude is going to be your absolute value of A when dealing with your sine and cosine graph. There we go. Thanks.